green light, a blast off, good start from Ovenden, uh, O'Donovan rather I should say, great start from Vittles, Ovenden sadly does not get away well at all, that's exactly what happened to him in the first race of the day yesterday here at Knock Hill as well, but it's O'Donovan then, the Northern Irishman who has the advantage, leads the way into that first corner from Robert Vittles then, from Mike Seller in his number 69, the grey and white Citroen DS3. Onto the gravel these drivers go for the first time, and is Vittles going to have an opportunity to find his way through on an O'Donovan before the end of this lap? He's certainly looking very quick indeed. Now, I wonder whether he's going to joker at the end of this lap and try and get himself out of traffic of O'Donovan. Yes, he does, so goes into the joker. O'Donovan continues on his normal lap. Vittles then goes joker. Slightly damp by the looks of things on the entry into that hairpin. A bit of cement dust down on the exit as well as a result of an engine blow-up we had in one of the support classes here yesterday. But now, good news for Vittles, he's got a bit of clear track in front of him to just run his own race and that is exactly what he did in the final here yesterday just ran his own race kept himself really quiet and then when others around him faltered he was there for the taking this man in particular was the driver who did falter ollie o'donovan who of course made that mistake into the first corner cost himself a chance of the win and as such he was really on the back foot. He goes Joker at the end of the second lap into the hairpin bend. You can see the suspension travel as he locks up the brakes going into that corner and in towards the chicane before the end then of this lap. I think Mike Seller might have followed him through. Yeah, he did. So Seller goes Joker and contact has emerged Vittles and O'Donovan emerged from the Joker. Oh, a broken suspension surely there for Vittles. The car is crabbing down the start finish straight and that's an end in dramatic fashion in Q1 race two here for Roberts Vittles. Ollie O'Donovan then with rear bumper damage there as well. If that's all he suffered, I'll be mightily surprised. But two into one doesn't go. It was a tight exit on the Joker there for Ollie O'Donovan. He was already running his line. Vittles came round the corner, he's pulled off to the side of the track on the grass by T1 and that is an unfortunate end for Robert Spittles and could have very big implications for his running here today in round five of the Five Nations British Rallycross Championship. It looks as though O'Donovan's been able to get away unscathed following that contact, which is good news there for him, aside from the bumper damage of course, but otherwise he seems to be keeping it on the straight and narrow. It's not the first time he's had contact. If you remember back to the first weekend, he had some contact with Andy Scott in round one of the championship on the Saturday at Lyddon Hill. Ovenden, meanwhile, continues on, and he's quite a way back, so I think Ovenden in the 72 has got some kind of a technical problem, and Mike Seller also going relatively slowly on the gravel section here, so this is turning into a right race of attrition, and it's only Q1 as it stands at the moment. On the final lap, into the hairpin bend we go. Oli O'Donovan is going to take the chequered flag, and that'll be a very welcome result for him. I wonder if the steward is going to be having another look at that incident following that as O'Donovan comes over the line to claim the chequered flag. He wins Q1, race two here at Knock Hill. Over the line comes Tristan Ovenden, and he's down in third position at the chequered flag. Quite a way back from Mike Seller, who was actually also slowed on this final lap and is going in towards the Joker, but he's already Joker Seller. We saw that, so clearly a technical problem here for Mike Seller. So we could already be two cars down potentially by the end of Q1. Hopefully that's not going to prove to be the case. But either way, a very dramatic start to the action here for the supercars at Knock Hill and Seller pulls into the pit lane and sadly will not be taking the chequered flag. So it's O'Donovan and Ovenden, the only drivers classified at the end of that finish and Seller does just actually creep home, as you can see there, into the pit lane. Classified as second according to my timing screen, but Ollie O'Donovan then takes the win in dramatic fashion. Robert Spittles with broken suspension and some bodywork damage to his Citroen C4. Well, let's hope the team are going to be able to get that car repaired for the remainder of the action here today. They've got a very short window of about an hour before the next qualifying race, so it's going to be a very tight turnaround for the Latvian driver. But O'Donovan then takes the chequered flag and wins Q1 race two here at Knock Hill in dramatic fashion.